What's going on guys? Welcome to today's video. As you can see in the title, today's a training talk. I've um, not done one of these uh, in quite a while as uh, I've been busy and I've been down in England um, for the GB squad training and whatnot. Um, but we're back at it. Um, quickly, the I am actually just currently filming this just as I finish my workout. Um, so if I'm a little bit out of breath, that is why. Um, but uh, to summarise today's footage you're going to be seeing, uh, this is the Friday. So, you, so this is Friday's training session. Um, so we're coming to the end of the week, it's the second last workout of the week and I had to start 250 kilograms of squat volume for 5 sets of 5 reps, not squat volume sorry, I had 250 kilos of bar weight or 550 pounds of bar weight for 5 sets of 5 and uh, then after that I had 231 kilos which I believe is going to be around about kind of 507 pounds, 508 pounds off the top of my head for 2 sets of 6 reps. Um, all paused and then I had some pull-ups uh, and some core work so uh, I filmed the pull-ups um, if this is long enough I'll throw the pull-ups in if not then I won't um, but uh, there's a lot of footage to get through so it's just going to keep rolling if uh, I, I, I killed it I thought I did really really well the work it went really really well um, I was my body physically was much more prepared for today's workout than it was the la last week um, work capacity has definitely already increased, um, which is awesome. And then uh, was feeling good. But anyway, in today's video, what I thought I would talk, and I actually discussed upon this on um, Tuesday's video, uh, is kind of understanding what drives you and start to use that to your advantage. So first of all, I would like to uh, say that um, I believe, I believe, not necessarily correct, but I believe that a driving force is more, far, far different to motivation. Um, because motivation... Or if you're feeling motivated, well then obviously you're not know motivated, it means you're feeling motivated to do something. But you're not always going to feel that. Uh, you're not always going to feel that way, um, no matter what. And uh, if you only act upon when you're motivated, you're probably not going to get very much done, in my opinion. Um, so, whereas something that drives you is completely different, because even if you're not feeling that motivated, because again, motivation is just like um, the, the seasons, like summer to winter, it's cyclical, it changes, you can't have high motivation without low motivation, just like you can't have summer without winter. But on the days where you're not necessarily feeling motivated, to do something you need to have strong habits, willpower and a driving force. And I feel that you need to find out what your driving force is. Is it positive reinforcements? Is it negative reinforcements? Um, just things of that nature. So, for example, um, I am very, very motivated off of um, negative emotions, negative experiences, and uh, negative feelings, which I suppose kind of ties in with negative emotions. Um, I mean, as you can probably tell from my lifting uh, on PR6, uh, I, I don't necessarily look very, very happy. Um, Obviously, some of the stuff I say, but no, it's, it's very, very aggressive. And uh, on those things, on those, my driving force for those lifts is very is negative thought processes. And I use negativity uh, in my past or negative experience or negative emotions to push me forwards. And one thing that I have learned is that um, being very negative about my current performances uh, helps really, really push me. So, for example. Um, to say, say for example I totaled X uh, at a competition then am I going to be proud of myself for the work I put in to hit that total? Absolutely I will be very proud of myself not necessarily because I put that total up but because I knew what it took and what I had to do in order to put that total up um, it's just like when I won the British Championships when I became the junior British champion or even when I became the Scottish champion um, I was a uh, the Scottish champion in 2014 uh, in the BDFPA and in 2015 I was a British champion in the GBPF. Now I was extremely proud of myself for what I did um, to become the British champion. I was really really proud of myself. I was. It's actually probably one of the few things in my life where I've actually truly looked myself in the mirror and thought I am proud of you um, to be honest. But um, we're saying that um, well it, it, it was the title itself didn't mean anywhere near as much as what I what I, I had to go through to get there. Um, winning it was 
was was probably one of the best days of my life, but quite a week later it was quite underwhelming actually. I thought I would be a lot more pleased about having the British champion title. Furthermore, having the squat bent, the, the squat deadlift and total British records, and also um, taking the squat um, the Scottish squat bench deadlift total junior records, and also taking the Scottish uh, open squat deadlift and total records. So I did a lot, and I was proud of myself of what it took to get there. But I also found it a little bit underwhelming, all those titles and accolades. Um, and uh, the thing is, is that the reason because of that is because then I take the mindset, well, it's, it's not really simply good enough because I'm not the European champion yet, I'm not the world champion yet. Uh, and it's not necessarily the title of being the world champion, it's what I know I need to go through and want to go through in order to get there. Um, and I know that if I, had, for example, I just had a 305 kilo squat, well, I find it a little bit underwhelming because I'm like, well, 305 kilos really isn't just going to cut it. You need to squat 320 kilos, so on and so forth. And although that can be uh, necessarily a bad cycle if you're constantly doing that, because you can't live in that that manner, uh, those are the kind of things that I find to help to be a really, really, really big driving force. So, for example, if I am on um, my fourth set of 250 kilos, I do four sets of five and one set to go and I don't really want to do it, then I'll ask myself, is that, well, I thought you wanted a 325 kilo squat. You set yourself a 305 kilo squat, is going to cut it. So if you want to get to the 325 kilo squat, what are you doing complaining? You're not there yet, you need to get there. That's the kind of thing that I need to, to do. Now, there is a distinct difference between saying, thinking where you are isn't good enough and that, using that kind of negativity and simply being negative about yourself. Oh, I'm not going to get there, blah, 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 blah. There's a difference. I believe in myself. And I believe and I know I will get to that number I need to get to, but I simply just almost give myself um, I kick up the backside and say, well, look, it's not good enough, you need to get there, but I do know I'll get there. And I'm pretty good at controlling it. Um, and that is what I've found. But that might not work for you. You might need lots and lots and lots of positivity. So you might need to draw upon lots of positive things. So for example, I just had a 600 pound squat. That was the best feeling ever. To know I get that, that's such a nice feeling. I really, really want that feeling again. I'm so happy for myself. I'm so proud of myself. I want to feel like that again. I want to get to the 280 kilo squat. Um, just they're just really, really, really simple things, but they're also things that are really going to help you along the way of getting towards your goal and finding that driving force. Again, don't misinterpret your driving force for motivation. In my opinion, they're completely different. Quite frankly. Um, motivation isn't really something I ever really pay attention to. Um, it's just not. I, I, I simply think of, I, I, this is where I want to get to, this is how I need to get there, I am going to do it. It doesn't really matter how I feel. Um, but there are a few things and definitely learning more about yourself will definitely allow you to get your goals. And again, this I'm just relating this to powerlifting because this is a powerlifting channel, but this can literally be using anything. It could be used in picking up females, it could be used in growing your business, uh, it could be used in just wanting to lose weight, just wanting to get healthier, just wanting to get into the gym. It could be anything, literally any aspect of your life you can improve on, this can be used upon. Um, but again, what I would say is, is that if you do tend to draw upon negative thought processes and negative experiences, um, like me, you also need to remember that you do need to sometimes take a step back and be proud of yourself that, um, because if all you are just engrossed in negativity, that could correlate onto being negative and almost losing faith in yourself. So I draw upon negative things while having a huge belief in myself. Um, and there's a fine line, but you will get there. Uh, and ultimately only you can get there because only you can help you. Um, in the grand scheme of things. So, hope you enjoyed today's video, hope you enjoyed the training footage. If you have any topics that you think would be cool to discuss for this, give me a heads up and I will do them. And I'll speak to all of you guys next time.